Hi everyone! Magicians around the world are constantly upgrading their tricks, inventing and putting into practice the craziest ideas, and sometimes even playing with death. And all that for the viewers. They want the show to absorb our attention completely. Deep in our minds we know that it is just an illusion. But shit, how can you stay calm in front of this madness? However, the desire of fame often makes magicians do really dangerous tricks, and sometimes they don't end very well. Today, we'll tell you about tricks that didn't went as intended. Let's get it on. Charles Rowan, also known as Carr the Mysterious, was a South African illusionist. His favorite tricks were hanging straightjacket escapes and jumps onto a pile of broken glass. In 1930, Carr was doing a performance in Springfontein, Orange Free State, South Africa. He was doing a very dangerous trick. He had been tied with a straitjacket and had to escape from it while a car was heading straight at him at a pace of 25 miles per hour from a distance of 600 feet. Therefore, Carr had only 10 to 15 seconds to escape the straitjacket if he wanted to get off the track of the car. He couldn't make it in time though, and the car ran him over. The performance was finished, obviously, and Charles was sent to a hospital immediately. Hundreds of people witnessed the incident and probably remembered it for a long time. And we hope they never brought their kids again to these kind of shows. Benjamin Rucker. He used to perform under the name Black Herman. He is on our list, although he died from natural causes. The thing is, no one bought it. Black Herman was the most prominent African-American magician of his time. He did his shows mostly for black audiences on the South due to segregation laws, but he was also very popular in other parts of the country. He was famous because of his favorite Bury Me Alive trick. In it, he got buried underground for three whole days, and then his assistants dug him out. After that, he successfully continued performing. Ironically, he had a heart attack during one of the shows, and he died because of it. But no one believed it because, obviously, they all thought it was a part of the show. His assistants even managed to benefit from it, selling tickets to view Rucker's corpse at the funeral. Royden Joseph Gilbert Raison de la Ganesta, but you can call him simply Ganesta. His visit card was escaping barrels filled with some liquid. The tricks were simple and elegant. The magician was enclosed in a water barrel and he had to escape before suffocating. Unfortunately, in 1930, during a performance, it turned out that the barrel had dents which limited his movement. As a result, Joseph couldn't open it and drowned. The incident, however, had a bizarre effect. Instead of being banned or at least restricted somehow, the trick became very popular among viewers and magicians. Yet another proof that crowds love death-defying entertainment. <laughs> Joseph Burris 32-year-old Joseph Burris had a dream to beat his idol, Harry Houdini. One night in 1992, he tried to perform a trick that the famous illusionist couldn't, to be buried alive and get out. So, Joseph put on his handcuffs, then his assistant locked him up in a coffin and buried him alive under six and a half feet of mud and concrete. Oddly enough, no one could convince Joseph that it was impossible. While he was preparing for the show, the reporter that covered the performance warned him again, the concrete dries out faster at the bottom than at the top, he explained. Therefore, even if not crushed to death, he would still have to dig his way out through a couple of feet of mud and hardened concrete without much air. Nonetheless, the concrete was not a problem for Burris. He was squashed under the huge weight before he even began to get out. Samuel Koch December the 5th, 2015 About 10 million people were watching the live transmission of the popular German show Wetten Das, German for Wanna Bet That. That day, 23-year-old Samuel Koch was one of the participants. He had to jump over five moving cars using so-called kangaroo boots. Everything was going great, but when he got to the fourth car, one of the boots failed, and Samuel couldn't jump as high as he needed. The audience and the presenter were shocked, and the program was taken off air immediately. Doctors took the guy to the hospital. He underwent two operations and spent 10 days in a coma after breaking the cervical vertebrae. He survived, but ended up paralyzed. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.